Awesome. So we are here at Intergeo 2025 at the Esri booth with Conrad. And um, yeah, I, I'm completely mind blown by some of the things that you've been showing at the, the conference here. So uh, what, what are we looking at here? We're looking here at the Gorson's Blatt layer of Boston. And what is really exciting about Gorson's Blatt, as you're also very engaged on, is like what level of fidelity we can get. And we have been working a lot in integrating this also on larger scale, like for entire geospatial coverage, right? Covering entire cities. So what we've done here is with the Reality Engine to create a Gauss and Splat layer for an entire part of the city of Boston. Like this is captured from an aerial survey flight with a pixel size of four and a half centimeters, which is about two inches. And what you can see here, how nicely Actually, all the Gauss and Splats are taking up small details like you see here on the bridge. And what you can also notice is, as we zoom in, it is using actually level of detail technique to be able to stream it as we stream it right now here from many thousand miles away, like from, an, from a server. And what is also the case, we can overlay it with other GIS information, right? For example, here we have different kinds of buildings which can also carry information and as we can overlay this with information, all this uh, uh, content together creates really purposeful applications for people that have GIS content. For example, building footprints, information about pipes, about passes, about anything that is happening in real time in the city. So this is really exciting. This is what you can do now with large scale aerial imagery. But you can do similar things now as well, like with, uh, with drone imagery. So we have here one example that is also streamed with a very similar approach. So this is from many thousands uh, drone images that were taken with a five head camera, with a share UV camera. And what is happening here is it is flying like also like in flight strips over the site. And what is the big power of Gauss and Splats, as you know very well, is that it can capture these high fidelity objects that are so much of interest for people that do asset monitoring, that do asset extraction, and want to understand that better. And this is all rendering in real time as well, right? This is it's not- It's rendering real time. Yeah, it's crazy just to see the actual scale of which is being reconstructed and uh, shown in, like you were mentioning, you know, you're able to really see like these like thin structures being reconstructed very like faithfully uh, compared to say, you know, exist, uh, uh, pre-existing technologies. Right. This is really the, this is different. This is very different to what we are used to. And what I am excited about also is the fidelity that people really care about. Because what we have noticed over the past with reality capture is yeah. people were doing point clouds, people were doing meshes. But very often it is these very small things right. that are really relevant for them. So uh, man-made structures. And the other thing is that as Gauss and Splats really create a field, right? So we can also manage even transparent objects or vegetation, which is another asset of our environment in so much better way. So that's really an exciting time for reality map and reality capture, but also GIS in general. Yeah, and would you mind just like scrolling out just a bit further, just so people can see like the scope of which this is actually contained inside of? Because I think it's just like mind blowing when you really zoom out and you start to understand like this is an insane amount of detail across a very large portion of land, and all of it is being rendered and reconstructed, or they've rendered in real time. And uh, as you continue to zoom in, you just see more and more you know, levels of detail through it, which is just wild to see that uh, this is here now in ArcGIS. Very exciting times. Yeah, cool. Well, thank you for the, the quick demo, Conrad. I really appreciate it.